Hello everybody, this is the trade log of, of Sean who trades uh, sporadically and he had a great uh, great number of trades here. I think it, it took him only a, a couple of days to generate these 30, 30 plus uh, hours in trading the futures markets. So uh, uh, Sean is a great example of, of an F type personality, Myers Briggs, right? So F is the feeling type. And F types, uh, well, there are a couple of F types uh, in, in the group, and uh, Fs have uh, have some positives and some negatives, right? So the negative is that they can be uh, emotional, becoming emotional when trading, um, and the positive is when they're in a good mental state, they've got a tremendous intuition, right, and, and can apply discretion to, to their trading that helps them. Uh, well, we're going to see a little bit of that uh, in action. Now let's let's have a look here at uh, well that's an ES sniper setup ES short on a 15 second so um, yeah so th this is this is sniper setup nice this is a test bar right and um, and we, we get to uh, yeah 1.2 hour before we, we break to a new low uh, it's in a, it's in a super trend and um, that worked out uh, well right so now here we've got another pullback and another potential opportunity which was actually this one this materialized this is um this is this is a test bar too right it's a relatively small bar but we see the testing activity we see the the, the top wicks and we even have two test bars in a row a tb consolidation which make which makes it even better and uh, well this is in uh, th this is this adds uh, a little bit more hours right so that that's a nice our winner um a nice our winner too so let's um, let's come to the next one heating oil <coughs> s1 long on the 240 so sean is very good to be flexible on the time frames right so we saw before a 15 second trade now this is a 240 minute and that generated a huge r result 29 r so it's not always the lower time frames that give you the big results right it can be a whatever time frame uh, basically because we're looking for low risk ideas uh, and the low risk ideas uh, and the high quality trades uh, give you uh, the, the, the high number of results. So let's have a look at, at this one, heating oil. Yeah, heating oil broke to a new high, right? So let's see. So that's the 240. That's a low frame pattern. That's a gecko. And, uh, and this is the test bar, right? That's a consolidation. Clearly, this is the momentum move, the consolidation, the test bar. So this has already triggered an entry here. But Sean is basically taking and it's nicely testing uh, the 200. So Sean, this is triggered here. So Sean is basically is basically getting into this trade with a discount, right? So I'm not sure he might have seen it. He might, he might have come to the screen when, when price was down here. And this is where he entered with a discount, right? 50% discount because the official entry would be up here and, and your R would be twice as big. So that's a very low risk idea. Right. Um, and uh, and he was able to capitalize uh, capitalize on that. So this is a pattern with an oval sideways, right? So this has the the potential to break this stop run low. So this is a very tight stop uh, with being in oval sideways and and being in a full uh, a full blown yeah in a full blown trend. So very strong uh, momentum. Well, you you cannot get. Uh, a better low risk idea uh, than this one right the stop is protected by the 200 uh, we can see that uh, that the price has has consolidated below the base and he's basically getting in here at a discount at the lower range of this small base so it makes all sense to me right and it, it's right here at 200 support so it makes all sense to me that he actually entered here and here you can see uh, intuition in action right um, you have to be a little bit careful with uh, getting in with a discount, right? Uh, because you can easily um, revenge trade, right? And, and take too many trades. But this, this is a perfect example, right? Of capitalizing on, on a discount on entry. Let's see how, what, what, that, what that did. So this was his, uh, yeah, that's a low frame. And it's, uh, it's a, a perfect standard type of example, right? Running for this stop. Then running for this stop, there was not much much of a move here, but instead it's it's consolidating uh, and 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 keeping up well 
and then well this is basic well this is the stop run move right this is not a stop run move above the high it's just consolidating well now these become the new stop run levels and then this is a stop run move and this looks like a stop run move on a higher time frame let's can, can we see that it might have actually no it has not broken this one yet yeah, it is right so this move has broken this this high right and this this is what we see this is what we see here this move has broken the high on one time frame and one time frame higher here the mid frame so this produced this big r multiple right a very tight stop entry and um yeah a chart that actually breaks a stop run level in, in, in the mid frame by capitalizing on this momentum driven chart right on the monthly um well it cannot be done better right so big big congratulations 20 hours well, that's um, that, that's a that's a four four month achieving the four month uh, hour goal, right? With one trade on a four hour chart. Let's have a look here at, at silver silver turtle. Short fifteen second again. Okay, yeah, um, the, I wouldn't take this. Um, it's not ha harmonic enough. Like the, the right side is not long enough, but uh, it it worked. It worked out for him, so uh, that's that's fine. That might be another another example of applying um, intuition and discretion. Yeah, I would have passed that on. Uh, mid frame looks really good, right? With the moving averages close together, and the pattern is nicely embedded in the time frames. And and here we've got uh, yeah, we've got a very strong uh, a down move in uh, in silver, fifteen seconds. And he traded it down to down to here. It seems like okay. S one sniper short on the one minute. S one sniper on the one minute. So this is it, right? That's um, um th th that's an orderly, uh, one leg diagonal pullback into the twenty one thirty four moving average. Uh, the deeper it pulls back, like if it if it if it touches the thirty four, well, it's even better. And this is what we have here, right? Well, it cannot get much better, the S3, uh, than that. We have got a, a, a test bar uh, that is relatively small. Well, it could be red, right? But still, that's a great, uh, great uh, small test bar. Um, and uh, touching the 34, there's a lot of room to go, right? I uh, mean, when, when you reach uh, the, the last low, I mean, that's already the, I don't know, the, the, the 3R mark. Right, so easily you can make this uh, a break even. Um, that, that's a super trend, absolutely, uh, and um, it doesn't need to move a, a long way to to make this a break even trade, right? So whenever <coughs> whenever price snaps snaps a little bit beyond right the twenty one, even the thirty four, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, yeah um, S three uh, testing testing the area on the other side of the moving average band and this can snap back quite powerfully so let's see what let's see what happened here so this is what happened okay it didn't it didn't go off powerfully well it, it went sideways the stop was well protected right and uh, Sean was uh, a patient sitting this out right this consolidation and then at some point of time well then it, it went it went off uh, with a result of it's a small bar, right? Low risk idea, a five hour result. So fantastic. Congratulations, Sean.